Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa Tierney. I am a realtor in Santa Barbara and my job is to bring to you the best of the best here in Santa Barbara because we live in paradise and love doing so. So for today's assignment, I asked my kids which were their top five favorite parks to go to here in Santa Barbara. Now, I know there's gonna be a lot of opinions. I know that everybody has their top five, but I asked my critics, and believe me, they're tough, on which five parks here in Santa Barbara are their go-tos. So, before I get into that, please do me a solid, support your local realtor, give me a click below on the like and subscribe button, your clicks mean the world to me. All right, the first one, and no particular order, the first one that we get the most requests for is La Mesa Park on the Mesa, where we live. This is directly across the street and down a block from Lazy Acres, and it also happens to be next to a little shopping center with really awesome restaurants. So um, in addition to the big playground, which my kids love, um, if good food is your jam and sitting on the bench while your kids play and looking out over the ocean, La Mesa Park is definitely a good one for you. The next park is going to be Shoreline Park, which is also on the Mesa. Shoreline Park has all of the views. Uh, you can be staring out at the ocean, looking right at the islands. If you turn just slightly to the east, you will see the harbor and the Santa Barbara Mountains. And if you turn back around the other way and look at the ocean, you will also get some views of some of Santa Barbara's most amazing sunsets, especially in the fall and the winter times. Uh, this playground has a big playground. In addition to that, it's close to the Leadbetter Steps, which go right down to the beach if your kids get tired. Uh, mine like to go to the whale tail shaped bench and look out at the islands while also looking through the telescope on days in the summer, like Wednesdays for example, is the wet Wednesday sailboat races. They like to look through the telescope and find their daddy on one of the sailboats. It's a bit of a stretch, but you know, they love to use their imaginations as do we all. And the next one is going to be Old Town Park in Goleta. This park is brand new. It opened up to the public in 2019. And what makes this new park just the greatest thing in the world to my kids is the sheer multitude of things to do. It's an inclusive pro bleh, playground. And there are tons of sports courts for pickleball, bocce ball, basketball, um, the, even on the, the different courts there's that, I forget what it's called, but the ground is that soft, kind of springy, cushiony on, uh, ground. So uh, when my kid was still getting his feet going with rollerblading, I mean, that, it was nice for him to fall on that. And, and that park is solely responsible for my kid developing his confidence with skating. So uh, to that, I owe that park. There's also a ton of grass fields and uh, fitness equipment outdoors for the adults like us to go to if we're not chasing somebody up and down something. So uh, that is old, the, the park in Old Town Goleta. The next one, we've got two more, bear with me. The next one is going to be Kids World at Alice Keck Park Memorial Garden in downtown Santa Barbara. This is the big park that the Earth Day Festival and tons of other outdoor festivals take place at. And in this big park on the, uh, the east side is Kids World. And it is this enormous structure for children of all ages to enjoy. There's castles, there's it is a big castle, there's a bunch of swings, there's little walkways and stairs and other things for the little, little ones to enjoy. There's a giant shark, a giant whale, picnic tables, the list goes on. But this is located right near downtown Santa Barbara, a very quick walk to some of the local restaurants and it just makes for a nice and easy go out to lunch, go to the park afterwards, burn up some energy or vice versa. 
So last but not least, Shipwreck Playground at Chase Palm Park, which is directly across the street from East Beach and a very short walking distance to the Santa Barbara Pier. What makes this so cool is that it is very thoughtfully designed like a shipwreck. And there are whales coming out of the sand. There are murals. There's a little seashell play area and um, just different things that the kids can really use their imagination about being on a shipwreck. What also makes this very appealing is that when the Pacific Surfliner or Amtrak trains come through, it comes really close. The tracks are very close. So if you have your kids sitting on top of the ship, like mine are, they can see the top of the train going by. And to them, my three-year-old, that is everything. So this is, this is our list. Again, the critics were tough. I get that. And there are tons and tons of parks in our great community that I didn't mention. But for now, this concludes our top five parks here in Santa Barbara. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what your favorite parks are and why. And I want to make a video about it. So your community wants to hear from you on which parks you love. Don't be shy. Put it in the comments below. We want to hear. So stay tuned for the next video. And remember, supporting local business makes our community go around. Your click on the like and subscribe button mean the world to me and every other local business owner. So cheers, and we'll see you on the next one.